Here it is, folks. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to repent of your sins. Turn from your dead religion, folks. And turn to Jesus Christ here. The Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. And the Jew first, and also to the Greek, for therein in the gospel the righteousness of God is filled with faith and faith. As it is written, folks, that the just shall live by faith. Jesus Christ is your only hope today, Catholic. Religion cannot save you. Your good works cannot earn you a place in God's heaven, folks. The Bible tells us, for, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, folks. The Bible says that both Jews and Gentiles, that they are all under sin, folks. And Romans chapter 5, verse 12 says this. Wherefore, if by one man, talk about Adam, folks, talk about the man Adam, folks, the first man that was created, Adam, it says, Wherefore, if by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, more than all have sinned. See, we're all by nature sinners. We were born sinners, folks. It doesn't matter how righteous you think you live your life. In God's sight, folks, we're all sinners. The Bible says that both Jews and Gentiles, that they all under sin, folks. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That for by one man's offense, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the Well, let me start over. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, not by, by Adam. We are condemned, folks. For just a holy God because of Adam's transgression. And we being his natural physical descendants, we have all sinned, folks. We're all under sin. Let me read this again. This is Romans chapter 5, verse 16. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, folks. We all stand before God condemned because of our sin, folks. The sin that we inherited from Adam, folks, we have all sinned. And as sinners, folks, we will spend eternity separated from God in a lake of fire, a place prepared for the devil and his angels, folks. But the free gift, talk about the free gift that God offers to you, Jesus Christ, folks. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Therefore, as by the fence of thought about Adam, folks, the man at the man Adam, never Adam and Eve in the garden of the Eden, folks. The first man and woman that God created. That's what that talks about. Therefore, as by one offense of blood, judgment came upon all men to condemnation, folks. This means you, folks. So by the righteousness of blood, the free gift came upon all men justification of life. For as by one means of disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous, folks. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. See, this is talking about the sin that we all have. We were born with sin, folks. The Bible says that there is none righteous. No, not one, folks. We are sin by sin. By sin, we are sinners. 
Bible says that both Jews and Gentiles, that they are all under sin, folks. You and Gentiles. Me too, folks. Even my Catholic friends today are all under sin also, folks. Just like the rest of the world, folks. And your only hope is Jesus Christ. He's your only hope for salvation. It is your salvation in any other, folks. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, folks. Jesus Christ is your only hope today, Catholic friends. Your good works cannot merit you a place in God's heaven, folks. God sees your righteousness as, as filthy rags, folks. That's what the prophet Isaiah tells us in chapter 54, verse 10 of his prophecy, of his book. So look it up today, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 6. Today is the day of salvation. Neither is your salvation in any other, folks. For there is none other name, talk about Jesus Christ, for there is none other name under heaven gift among men, for by we must be saved, friends. Today you're being called to repent. Turn from your dead works. Turn from your dead religion, folks. Repent, repent. It cannot help you. It cannot make you right with God. Only Jesus Christ can make you right with God. It's the blood, folks. Only the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross could make us pleasing to God, to justify sinners before God. Those who place their faith in Jesus Christ and in His dead blood, folks, that's how we justify before God. Not by your good works, not by your religion, folks. Not going to mass. Not doing good things, folks. The break your rosary teeth will not justify you before God. Let me read from Romans, folks. It says it's the Romans here. Chapter 5 says this. Romans chapter 5, therefore, being justified by faith. It's about faith in Jesus Christ, folks. Not faith in yourself, not faith in your good work, not faith in your church. But talk about faith in Jesus Christ, folks. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So in Jesus Christ, folks. Your salvation is none other, folks. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved, folks. That's the good news of the gospel. It says, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. This is only for those who believe, folks. God bless you. And not only so, but the glory of Christ is also. God bless you. Not only that tribulation work in faith, but patience and spirit. Hope. And hope that it is not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet for a venture for a good man someone even dares to die. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood. It's only the blood of Jesus Christ that could justify you, declare you just before a just and holy God, folks. Much more than being now justified by his blood, it says, we shall be saved from wrath. Through him, through Jesus Christ, folks. Not through your church, not through your priest, not through your baptism, folks. Not through your sacraments. It's only through the blood of Jesus, folks. Jesus Christ is your only hope today, folks. Neither is there salvation in any other, the Bible tells us. For there is none other name under heaven given among men 
whereby we must be saved. It says here, Romans 5, 10, 4, if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, but for being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also join God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. It's only through Jesus Christ, folks, through his blood. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that was the salvation, folks. See, it's the blood of Jesus Christ that washes away our sins. It is only the blood of Jesus Christ, folks, that makes reconciliation for sinners. It's only the blood of Jesus, folks. The Bible tells us, folks, I quote this verse a lot because it's what the Bible clearly teaches. Neither is there salvation in any other, folks, for there is none other name under heaven, folks, given among men whereby we must be saved. That name, that person is none other than Jesus Christ, folks. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That no man cometh unto the Father but by me, folks. There's no other way of salvation other than through Jesus Christ. No religion on this earth could save you from your sins, including your Roman Catholicism. No religion could save sinners, folks. It's a person that must save you, and that person is Jesus Christ, folks. The eternal Son of God. The God-Man. God made flesh, folks. Jesus Christ, who loved you and willingly offered himself on the cross for you, a sinner, folks, to reconcile you to God with his own blood. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away sins, folks. Acts 4.12, folks, I quote this a lot, but so relevant. Neither is there salvation in any other, folks, for there is none other name. Under heaven, folks, given among men, whereby we must be saved, folks. And I point you today to Jesus Christ, your only hope today for salvation. Your Catholicism cannot save you, folks. Going to Mass cannot save you. Being religious cannot save you, folks. The fact is, most of the world has religion, folks, in one form or another, but that's not what reconciles sinners to God. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. That's what we're here for. That's your only hope, folks. It's not Mary that can save you. She has no saving our office to offer you, folks. Only Jesus Christ is the Savior. The Bible says, And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. It's only Jesus, folks. It's not Mary. It's not some saint. It's not your church. It's not your priest, folks. It's Jesus Christ. He's the only Savior that you have, folks. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, folks, you will die in your sins. Like Jesus told the religious people of his day, except ye believe that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. See, Jesus confronted the religious leaders of his day, folks, too. They did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. They rejected him, folks. They considered him a deceiver and a false prophet. But little did they know who Jesus was. He was the creator, folks. He created this, the heavens and the earth. Jesus Christ, who was God, manifested in the flesh, folks. It was the Lord Jesus Christ that created man on this earth, that spoke this, the worlds into existence. It was Jesus Christ, folks, who came to this world. He was God manifested in the flesh, folks. Fully God and fully man. And yet he died, he humbled himself and became and came in the form of a man and humbled himself even to death on the cross, folks. This is what the Bible tells us, that Jesus Christ, who was God, in the form of God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, 
But he humbled himself, even to the death of the cross, to pay for your sins, folks. And today's the day, folks, to repent, to believe the gospel, folks, to believe the gospel. Neither is there salvation in any other, not even in your priest, folks. He cannot save you, cannot even save himself. We're all by very nature sinners, folks. Your only hope is Jesus Christ, folks. That's your only hope today is Jesus Christ. And today I call you to repent, folks, to believe the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, folks, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, my friends, that the just shall live by faith. Only the gospel could offer you this hope today, folks. And God's righteousness comes to those who believe the gospel. Those who believe on Jesus Christ, folks. And today's that day, folks. The Bible says, for what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? <laughs> what will a man give in exchange for his soul, folks? The Bible tells us it is appointed unto men once to die, and after that comes the judgment. You all know you're going to die, folks. <coughs> Every year, we get one year older. We, we have another birthday, but that's really one day closer to your death, folks. We're all going to die, folks. It's appointed unto men once to die, but the Bible tells us after that comes judgment, folks. And today's that day. Today's the day of salvation, folks. We don't know when that day that we're going to pass is going to be coming. It could be today. It could be tonight. It could be later on today, folks. You just don't know. But today's the day of salvation. Don't be like that rich man in Luke 16, folks. <laughs> he lifted up in this world, folks. He lifted up, lived sumptuously every day. You could care less about the things of God. He just thought about his own life, his own earthly pleasures. And that man died, the Bible tells us, and was buried. And in hell we lift up his eyes, being in torments, folks. And he'd seen Abraham afar off, <coughs> and Lazarus in his bosom, folks. And he cried out and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And said, Lazarus, <coughs> that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame, folks. That rich man went to hell, folks, and he wasn't going to get out of hell, folks. The Bible tells us that there's only one or two places you could go when you die, folks. It's either heaven or hell. <coughs> but those who remain in their sin, folks, those who refuse to believe, on the Lord Jesus Christ, folks, they're going to die in their sins and end up in hell. Just like the rich man in Luke chapter 16. There's no hope for you once you go to hell, folks. There's no purgatory. You're not going to get prayed out of hell, folks. No, mass, no amount of masses will get you out of hell, folks. <coughs> and your only hope is Jesus Christ. He's the only one that could get you into heaven, folks. He's the only doorway to heaven. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up unto the Father but by me, folks. Today is that day to repent and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, folks. That's your only hope today, Catholics. If you get anything out of this message, your only hope is Jesus Christ. Your good works cannot save you, folks. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, you can look that up today when you get home. It tells us that all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, folks. <laughs> and your only hope is Jesus Christ. He's the only one who can give you real righteousness before God. He imputes righteousness to those who believe on him, folks. See, your righteousness before God is like filthy rags. God will not accept it, folks. 
but Jesus Christ could offer you his righteousness, his perfect righteousness, folks. We all need righteousness before God. Jesus said to the Pharisees, accept your righteousness, exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. You will not enter the kingdom of God, folks. <coughs> And today's that day, folks. Repent today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Go home today, folks, and read the Bible. Pick up the Bible. Start with the New Testament, folks. Read that today. Start with Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew there. You all got Bibles. This is America. You can buy a Bible about anywhere. Pick up the Bible and start reading it, folks. And see what God has to say to you today. <clears throat> I point you not to myself, folks, but to Jesus Christ. He's your only hope, folks. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. You hear me, folks. I know that. And today's that day of salvation. What is a man profited, Jesus said, if a man should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What will man give in exchange for his soul, folks? If you, if you gain the whole world and die in your sins and go to hell, what have you profited, folks? There's no getting out of hell, folks. No priest will pray you out of hell, folks. No amount of masses said on your behalf will get you out of hell, folks. Those in hell will be cast into the lake of fire at the great white judgment throne. We read about that in Revelation chapter 20, folks, if you want to look that up in the Bible, too. Revelation chapter 20 there talks about the great white judgment throne when all lost sinners will stand <coughs> before Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the judge, folks. And today is that day I call you to repentance. I call you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and to be saved from your sins, folks. Today is that day all right all righty <coughs> been a little under the weather so my voice has been <coughs> but i did call him to repent so okay yeah i've been under the weather for the last few weeks so but i'm back Okay. All right, dear viewers. God bless.